hello friends welcome back let's continue with our session on 389 directory server in this session we shall be configuring the admin server to listen to HTTPS protocol rather than HTTP okay to configure them I initially did some preparation for it so that I don't have to repeat that thing if we talk about the directory server we use the folder slash etc derserv slap d underscore infra and if we see into minus ls to list minus d directory so inside this certificate directory we can see two certificates were imported lab ca and infra corresponding to directory server and if I see to slash etc dir serve admin serve I did the same homework by setting these two certificates inside it I set the password to password but it could be different so the second part after installation of CA certificate and certificate is to configure admin console so it uses HTTPS protocol let us see how open the console provided the password manager at 123 I think yeah so right now we are using HTTP protocol only manager at 123 I'll click on admin server double click on it configure admin server or before that just make sure that the certificates are visible yes server certificate and CA certificate are visible close it configure admin server moving on to encryption enable SSL for the server and secondly you tell the server admin server to coordinate with infra.labs.local over port 636ldabs and the same with this click on ok click on ok directory server settings have been modified you must shut down and restart admin server will do so now I try to restart their serve admin restart the drawback of starting the services with SSL is you need to provide the password so we need to save them somewhere as of now let's start the service for the sake of saving the passwords let's move to the folder slash etc dir serve admin serve and create a file password.txt that will consist of the passwords copy internal format will be internal colon password the actual password it could be XYZ in your environment but for me I took it the same as password for the security purpose ch mod 400 password dot txt and ch on or allow it to be accessed through set facl minus m u nobody read password dot txt fine so a file has been created that is accessible only by the user nobody and root user fine the next part is how does the admin server knows this is my password file so for that let's copy and paste this file path and open the file nss.conf there is a variable nss passphrase dialog just copy it comment it 
and use the protocol file and paste the file now if I restart it there is serve admin restart it will restart without asking me for the password perfect let me close it and let me try to create a session 389 console and this time I'll try to connect to it using HTTPS protocol rather than HTTP password is manager at 123 so it's prompting me for the password uh, sorry prompting me for the certificate let's see what the certificate says it was issued to infra.labs.local so that works fine for me untrusted issuer accept the certificate permanently accept it so now I am connected to the admin server using LDAPS coming on to configuration for directory server encryption use SSL in console also save it ensure that CA certificate for the CA that issued your certificate has been imported yes the encrypted port is 636 okay so I am done with it let us just try to restart these two services and let's make sure everything on admin server is also using SSL configure admin server encryption it's using SSL for directory server yes I am connecting through 636 now I just close it and I restart the services slash etc in it dot d there serve there serve restart perfect and after directory server is restarted I'll restart admin server too perfect now let me try to connect to admin console manager at 123 user directory and host that it's connecting to is 389 hmm. and user directory subtree is ok let me see the configuration coming out to encryption and set user directory okay if you choose to use LDAP with SSL you must first install CA certificate for each server involved that we have done use the certificate setup wizard to install the trusted CA certificate that we have done and if we move to the client pass WD it works fine and I can try to log in into this machine using the username PWD LS so right now my admin server is working fine all with LDAPS protocol and here you can see that admin server is working over SSL 389 directory server service started on port 636 netstat minus PAN PNTL grab 389 it's listening on 389 but it's working on 636 and admin console is connecting to it over LDAPS protocol
So with this, we have configured this 389 directory server to work over LDAPS protocol. Thanks for viewing the video. Have a good day.